If you want to start making your own Apple multi-platform application, this video is for you. Let me show you how to start. The first step is, of course, opening Xcode. Let's create a new project. And here you will see the options to create a template for your project. Most of us, we just select application in iOS, but there are multiple options, as you can see, macOS, watchOS, etc. Although, for example, I don't have watchOS installed, I will have to install it if I want. However, there is another option in the first place called multi-platform. An application with this configuration can be run on iOS, macOS, watchOS, etc. All the Apple ecosystem, basically. For this demo, let's use app option. Click next and let's put a name. There you go. Click next, save. And there you have it, your first multi-platform application. That's it for this video. No, just kidding. I would like to show you a few more things. One first thing to notice is that I'm using CFUI. If you're using it by default in your multi-platform app, then it looks like another iOS application. What I mean is there's no difference in terms of code. With CFUI, you can generate, unless in theory, multiple applications for multiple projects with the same code base. And I said again, in theory, because in reality, there are some edge cases that you need to know, but I will leave it out of this video. The only thing that you will notice that is different from just creating an isolated iOS app or, or any kind of uh, OS app is this guy here, which is an entitlement that is created automatically for you. This is because you're mixing between iOS and macOS, and sometimes you may need to require some file access or things in a sandbox. I don't want to go deeper into this detail. Maybe it's something for another video, but it's something that you need to include because you are like mixing OSs that has multiple requirements, okay? Mac OS is more, there's more freedom, let's call it in that way, and iOS is more restricted. So if you put it in perspective, yeah, they need some kind of way to share some common behaviors. Now, with this hello world boring thing, you can compile your code right away to get an app. Let me show you first iOS. I will use, where is it? iPhone 16. Let's run it. Yay, hello world and iOS. Now let's try iPad. Let's go here and select iPad Pro because we are Pro. Yay, you have iOS. Now let's try Mac OS. This one is easier because you just need to select my Mac and run it. There you go. It is a desktop application and you can resize or do whatever you want. Let me show you one more thing. Vision OS, because yeah, it's the cool guy in the building. There you go. Let's close Mac and open Vision Pro. And there you have it. Vision OS right here. There you have it four different operating systems running the same application, which is awesome. Now that you know how easy it is to run and visualize your app in multiple environments, let me show you one important thing to wrap up this video. So here, for example, we have a pretty basic app, right? There's not doing anything. But what will happen if we want to dedicate some piece of code just for a particular OS? What I mean is, I want just to run some specific features. For example, macOS has the toolbar at the top. That doesn't exist in iOS. Or there are multiple things like, for example, UI images are only available in iOS, iPad and iPhone, but not in Mac. And the same will happen with Vision OS. There are a couple of things that I don't know yet that maybe are exclusive to that particular environment, but not everything else, right? If we want to isolate some code specific to the OS, there are something called compile directives that you can use and you will have to use to dedicate some code to a specific OS. Let me show you. I have this again, hello world. But if I want to just say I am in iOS, of course, this is this should happen only in iOS, not in Mac. What I have to do is to wrap up 
this text in this if compile directive. If, and then select OS, and then explicitly say what is the iOS, sorry, what is the OS I want to use here. In this case, it's iOS, and we're gonna use and if, right? It's a little weird syntax, but don't worry, you're safe, okay? Notice how the code is like, you know, faded a little bit. That is because I'm selecting right now my Mac. So this is code will run specifically on Mac OS. And since that I'm isolating this code to iOS, basically that code won't exist in Mac OS. Let me show you now. If I click on iPhone 16, which is iOS, look how the syntax is highlighted again. So this is a big difference compared to the regular if else that you use. In regular if else, your code exists in the application. However, the compiler directives are at compile time generating the code for you. That means if you create an app for iOS and you're isolating code for iOS, that code will exist. But the code for macOS, technically speaking, will not exist in the binary that you generate. That is really cool because that saves us a lot of space that we don't need. But at the same time, we keep everything in our code base and, well, it will be easier to modify later for no matter what is the OS that you need. Okay, this is iOS. Now, if I want to change this text for Mac, what can I do? Okay, we're gonna have to use else if and select OS and say Mac OS and then, yeah, there you go. Thank you, compiler. No, what is this? Uh, code prediction, whatever thing. And notice, I mean, iOS, the code is is uh, faded, but if I select my Mac, it will turn you know the other way around. Now, if I want one more thing here, else if OS. Uh, now I don't want TPOS. Honestly, I just want to use a Vision Vision OS. I'm assuming it. Yeah, I mean Vision OS. And yeah, that's it. Let's put it in that way. So yeah, it is basically regular if else that you know, but at compile time. Now I'm putting here an else because I don't need to filter any other OS or any other conclusion here. In that case, you just need to select, okay, no platform because I don't know, or I don't care the OS thing. So let's run again, all the OSs again. Look how this thing is working. I mean Mac OS, yes, I am. Now let's select iPhone, iOS. Yes, iOS. Vision OS, let's see. Yay, Vision OS is here. Okay, I will just wrap up here because this is just an introductory video. I know there are a lot of things I need to talk about multi-platform in Apple ecosystem, but I would like to keep it simple just for this time. And I would like also to read your comments about what we would like to learn in terms of multi-platform environment. There are a series of videos I'm planning to do based on that. And well, I would like to feedback. That's all I got. Don't forget I have more videos for you about Swift, Swift UI and more in the description below. My name is Pete. This, this is Sifan Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.